hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a time series chart and spatial map to visualize the changes in water balance for any study area using shops and modus data in google earth engine so now let's get started so what is a water balance a water balance refers to the equilibrium between between the inflow and the outflow of the water within a given system it involves a complex interplay of factors including precipitation evapotranspiration and various hydrological processes now simplifying the equation to make things more accessible we are talking about a sim simplified approach today uh, we will be subtracting the evapotranspiration outflow from precipitation inflow to quantify the net uh, net water balance utilizing satellite based measurement of precipitation and evapotranspiration we aim to quantify the net water balance across both space and time so now let's get started so this uh, code performs a water balance analysis for Thailand over a specified period from 2015 to 2022. So now to import the study area boundary, we defined a variable called ROI, which represents the region of interest. So variable called ROI equals to double dot feature collection, United States of Department of State, large scale international boundary polygon, simple 2017 dot filter, double dot filter dot EQ country name. We are specifying the country name as Thailand. So basically, we're going to perform the water balance for the Thailand in the specified time uh, time period from 2015 to 2022. So next to uh, center this particular boundary, we define map dot center object ROI that is region of interest with a zoom level of eight. And next, we're going to add this layer into our Earth engine. For that, we define map dot add layer ROI with the default visualization para uh, default visualization parameter. It represents the default visualization parameter and output the layer name as ROI and next to set a start and end year specify the start year of 2015 and the end year of 2022 for our analysis we define a variable called start year equals to 2015 and variable called end year equals to 2022 so now to create the two date objects for the start and end years we defined a variable called start uh, variable called start date equals to double e dot date dot from ymd start year uh, comma one comma one and variable end date equals to double e dot date dot from ymd and uh, end year plus one one comma one and to make a list with years and month that is to create a list of uh, years and month within a specified time frame we defined a variable called uh, years equals to double e dot list dot sequence start year and we're defining the end year and variable months equals to double e dot list uh, sequence starting from January 1 represents January and the 12 represents uh, December so from January to December and next we're going to import our shops data to uh, retrieve the shops data for precipitation data and filter it based on the start and end time so for that we define variable called shops equals to double e dot image collection UCSP CHG shops pendate dot select precipitation. So in the shops data, we are selecting the precipitation band from this particular data set and uh, shops equals to shops dot filter date start uh, start date and end date. So which represents here this represents this particular variable called start date and end date. And next we're going to import a modus 16 data set into our earth engine. So we're going to import modus data set for evapotranspiration data and filter it based on start and uh, end dates. So for that, we defined a variable called modus mode 16 equals to double e dot image collection modus 006 mode 16 a2 dot select et. So the et here refers to uh, evapotranspiration band uh, of modus data set. So we are selecting et for evapotranspiration. And we define mode 16 equals to mode 16 dot filter date and we are specifying the start date and end date. And next to compute the water balance by subtracting the evapotranspiration from precipitation for each month and year combination. So for that, to compute the water balance, we defined a variable called water balance equals to double e dot image collection dot from images, years dot map function y and return months dot map function m. And we defined a variable called p equals to shops dot filter double e dot filter dot calendar range uh, y comma y uh, output the, that is year and dot filter double e dot filter dot calendar range of month and dot sum function 
and this is for the rainfall and similarly for evapotranspiration we defined variable et equals to modus uh, mode 16 dot filter double a dot filter dot calendar range y that is uh, it represents the year and dot filter double a dot filter dot calendar range and months and dot sum which is going to aggregate the aggregate the, the evapotranspiration and we're going to multiply by 0 0.1 now to compute the water balance, uh, to compute the water balance for the study area, we define variable called WB equals to P dot subtract ET and rename as water balance. We're going to subtract the precipitation uh, minus evapotranspiration and we're going to rename as water balance. And we're going to return the WB dot set year as Y and dot set months and M and dot set start time and EWE dot date from YMD y comma m comma 1 and this particular data set uh, we're going to calculate it's going to uh, calculate the water balance and next to uh, add our layer with monthly mean and uh, clip based on our roi that is our region of interest so for that we define this variable called uh, balance fish uh, balance with represents visualization parameter so we set a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 100 and the color palettes we are using here, the red indicates the, the region where the, so red here represents the region where there is a lower water balance and blue here, which represents a higher water, uh, higher water balance, which represents higher water availability. A blue regions indicates the higher water availability. And next to add this layer in our earth engine, we define map.add layer water balance dot mean dot clip. So based on, we're going to uh, clip based on our study area, that is Thailand. And uh, to set a visualization parameter, we define balance with and output the lay name as monthly mean water balance. Now to set the title uh, and the access label for the chart, uh, to specify the title and access label for the water balance chart, we define the variable called title equals to the title water balance monthly. And h-axis which represents the month and the v-axis represents the rainfall in ETM in millimeter. And uh, for the color, so we're going to mention the color for our graph. Uh, you can choose your color of your choice. I have mentioned as the green. And uh, to plot the chart using our ROI, so to generate a column chart showing the monthly water balance over the time for the region of interest. So we defined a variable called uh, chart monthly equals to UI UI dot chart dot image dot series by region. And image collection, we are referring to water balance. And the region here ref refers to ROI dot geometry function and reducer is reducer dot uh, doubly dot reducer dot mean and band is water balance scale is of uh, 500 meter resolution and the start time the x property re represents the system start time and set series name as a water balance and set option title and set uh, chart type as a column chart so now to visualize this particular graph we defined uh, print chart monthly our interpretation of our analysis, through our analysis, we aim to uh, elucidate the variations in water availability and balance. So the blue area uh, indicates the higher water availability, while the red area signifies the lower water balance. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for various applications, including agriculture, water resource management, and environmental conservation. So you can able to visualize from here. So let me run this code here and let me uh, go to this top section here and uh, we're going to click this option called run script so we have two different layer one represents a study area boundary and the second is our water balance mean monthly water balance for the study area so let me uh, select the satellite image here So now here you can able to visualize from this uh, spatial map of this uh, water balance for the study area called Thailand. So you can able to visualize the red areas in which indicates the lower water balance, which indicates the poor availability of water. Compared to the bluer portion of this region here, you can able to see in the downer towards this uh, southern part of the study area has a blue indication, which blue indicates, which uh, indicates higher water availability of this region. So bluer, bluer portions are indicated towards the northeastern direction and towards the southeastern and towards uh, southern directions southern part of the study area has a higher water availability 
compared towards the northern part of the area has a lower water balance so red indicates the lower water balance and the blue indicates the high water availability or high water balance for the study area so in this way you can able to uh, visualize the changes in water balance uh, in this study area so now let us take a look at the the chart here so we're going to navigate to the console section here so this is our water balance monthly for the study area from 2016 to 2022 so this rainfall etm in millimeter and this is in months so these are represented in year so now we're going to click this let me expand this so you can able to visualize in the map section here so uh, this are uh, here this part of the re represents the rainfall in millimeters and this is in month and uh, this is 2015 to 2006, uh, 2015 this particular region represents 2015 here so uh, in the january and uh, you can able to see that the water balance is negative compared to this part of the study area in june but the water balance is comparatively higher and similarly in uh, july the water balance is comparatively more and uh, until the water balance is uh, is good till uh, october and after that here in the, in the november the water balance are again negative in the study area in 2015 comparatively it is uh, similar in uh, each of the year for the study area so there is a high amount of water ba water balance being observed in august in the study area which is around 313.632 to 632 you can able to visualize here in 2019 so it is in 2019 you can able to see that and similarly it has a very low water balance in uh, in January and uh, that is in December uh, has a very low water balance of minus 47.246 and again in the, in the January of 2020 it has a low water balance comparatively in uh, September it has a very high water balance so let me get back to my earth engine here so you can able to see from this uh, spatial map of the study area so northern area has a low water balance compared to the southern part of the region has a good water balance and also towards this part of the regions has a good uh, good water balance the interior part has a moderate and uh, and low ba water balance you can able to see based on the color here so in this video i have shown you how to create a time series chart and spatial map to visualize the change in water balance using sherps and modus data in google earth engine so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like